Howdy, cuz. I hope you enjoying this this good uh, fall weather out here. And mm, nothing like sitting back on a rainy day and drinking a cup of coffee, is it? Boy, our Yazoo County Panthers have just been tearing things up so far this year. Looking mighty good as they get ready to head into their second conference game this coming Friday night. Uh, the Greenwood Bulldogs come to the Swamp. We'll tell you more about that, but let's tell you what happened this past Friday night up there at Greenwood, Mississippi, as uh, the Yazoo County Panthers traveled to take on the Amanda Elsey Panthers. Let's go on up to Amanda Elsey and let you see what happened there, cuz. The harvest moon would shine through the thin layer of clouds on this, the last Friday night of September, as the 5-1 and one Yazoo County Panthers traveled to Greenwood, Mississippi, trying to harvest their first district win for the 2012 season. It was homecoming for Amanda Elsey, and by the looks of the ambulance, things would not go well for them. The game went pretty much back and forth in the first quarter, with the only action being on the sidelines by the Yazoo County cheerleaders doing such a great job. Good things come to those who wait, and the Yazoo County Panthers would claw out the first score in the game, as number one Gerald Lampkin would score a one-yard touchdown run with 11.56 to go in the second quarter. Number 10, Michael Collum's kick would be good, and the Yazoo County Panthers would lead by seven. On the following kickoff to Amanda Elsey, Elsey would fumble. This would lead to a 27-yard touchdown pass to number three, Devontae White, with 11.35 to go in the first half. Number 10's kick was good, and the Yazoo County Panthers would lead by 14. Somebody must have called the Air Force in because the Yazoo County Panthers started dropping bombs in the end zone as quarterback Collum and number three Devontae White would connect again on a 55-yard touchdown pass with 9.18 to go in the second quarter. Panthers led by 21. Oh yeah, that's because Michael Collum's extra point was up and whoop, there it was. Three for three on extra points. But that would not be enough as the Yazoo Panthers were hungry for more. And have you heard the expression, that's the way the ball bounces sometimes? Well, with six seconds to go in the first half, Michael Collum attempted a pass to number 14, Marty Rhodes. It went through his hands, bounced off his thigh, and into the hands of number seven, Marlo Watkins. Touchdown, Panthers. Oh yeah, the extra point? Whoop, there it was. And the Yazoo County Panthers led by 28. Column was 4 for 4 on extra points for the night at the time. Hold on, it's just halftime, cuz. I want to say we got some of the best fans from Yazoo County. And we had a pretty good turnout. The fan bus filled up and... Fans came in their own vehicles, and it was good to see the support of the Yazoo County Panthers on the road. We'll tell you more about the fan bus later on. But you know what? Halftime activities are just about over, and it's time to play ball again. And the Yazoo County Panthers would come back and pick up where they left off. With 1 minute and 40 seconds into the second half, Number one, Gerald Lampkin would run in a 25-yard touchdown rush, and the kick, uh, well, oops, it didn't go in. Okay, so he missed one. With 10-18 left in the third quarter, the Yazoo County Panthers would lead by 34. In the second half, the Panthers used their ground forces, and number 21, Shamar Sawyer, would rush for 10 yards for a touchdown run with 123 to go in the third quarter. The kick by number 10 was good this time, and the Panthers would lead by 41 points. The Yazoo County defense did a great job keeping the Amanda Elsey Panthers off the board, but they decided they would help with the score themselves, as number 69, Andre Carter, would return and Amanda Elsey fumbled 25 yards for a touchdown with 56.5 seconds to go in the third quarter. The kick was good, and Collum would go 6-for-7 on the night with extra points. Amanda Elsey would score late in the game with a 23-yard touchdown pass to number 24 with 5.35 to go in the game. The two-point conversion attempt 
was good on a pass from number three, the quarterback, to number six, the receiver. Final score would be Yazoo County 48, Amanda Elsey 8, and the Panthers would go 1-0 in district play. Panthers did a great job this past Friday night going 1-0 in the conference. They'll be taking on Greenwood Bulldogs. Greenwood comes to the Swamp 7 p.m. Friday night, October the 5th. The Bulldogs defeated Humphreys County the other night. I think it was like 40 to nothing. So both teams are 1-1 one one in district play and trying to be in sole possession of first place. Of course, that's going to depend on how the other teams are doing in the conference. But the Panthers are on a good start now. And uh, we look forward to seeing you out there this Friday night at the Swamp. Once again, we really enjoyed our fans coming out. And uh, we're going to close out tonight looking at some of the sights of the fans and cheerleaders and everybody having a good time at the ball game. You have a great night. I'm Brother Glenn. God bless you. Yeah, please!